Hi, my name is Maddie and I'm going to be explaining the connection between proteins and COVID-19. First, we need to ask ourselves, what is a protein? A protein, to put it simply, is a long chain of amino acids. In our DNA, there are codes for all the different proteins that our body needs. For example, ferritin stores iron in our liver and actin or myosin controls muscle contractions. One common protein that everybody knows about is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin takes oxygen from our heart to our organs and our tissues, and it removes the carbon dioxide from those and carries it back to our lungs. The second question that we need to ask ourselves is what is COVID-19 or this coronavirus? Well, there's actually many different coronaviruses. It's a very large family. Even the most common cold is a version of the coronavirus. This coronavirus is called COVID-19 because it's the coronavirus infectious disease 19 comes from, it was discovered in 2019. It is highly pathogenic, which means that it is a bacteria or virus that causes disease. COVID-19 structure has spike proteins. The spike proteins look like a crown and in Latin, the word for crown is corona. So that's where the name coronavirus comes from. People may wonder the differences between SARS in 2002 and COVID-19. They have a couple of similarities and a couple of differences. One of their similarities is that they have the same average incubation period of five days. Their symptoms do differ. SARS, you could have diarrhea, and COVID-19, you would not. SARS only killed about 773 people, while COVID-19 has killed 265,000 people so far. How are proteins and the coronavirus related? Okay, so there are four different proteins on the coronavirus structure. There is the S protein, the E protein, the M protein, and the N protein. These all have different functions that um, make the coronavirus what it is. Let's first analyze the S protein or the spike protein. In all of our lungs, hearts, and kidneys, we have an ACE2 enzyme. The ACE2 enzyme stands for angiotensin converting enzyme receptor 2. This enzyme easily accepts the coronavirus into our bodies. The S protein has a receptor binding domain that attaches to ACE2. There are two parts to the S protein, S1 and S2. S1 binds to the cell that it's trying to get into, while S2 fuses the membranes of the new cell and the coronavirus. The M protein stands for the membrane protein, and the E protein stands for the envelope protein. These proteins take over cells and change them to start reproducing the coronavirus. The N protein or the nucleocapsid protein helps with the M and the E proteins getting into the cell. It undoes the defense mechanisms that the cell has in place and it continues the process of the coronavirus reproducing. It's the innermost part of the coronavirus and it is binded to the disease's single strand of RNA. So how can you protect yourself? Number one, you can wear a mask. Wearing a mask helps you to not inhale those spike proteins and get them into your lungs. Number two, you can wash your hands with soap. The innermost part of the coronavirus can instantly be dissolved by using soap. Number three, don't touch your face. And remember, the coronavirus can live on surfaces that you touch for just a few hours or up to a couple days. Symptoms that you might have the coronavirus include, but are not limited to, fever, tiredness, a dry cough, shortness of breath, a sore throat, or chills. The last safety precaution that I'm gonna give is to stay inside. Don't interact with people who are not in your close family that you live with normally. Hey there, Corona, social distance is now a thing. CDC's recommendations, but I'll be honest, I've been doing this my whole life, bro. Raw life.